bedroom, started playing the piano at eight. And by 15, she'd signed her first record contract. After doing her duty on Neighbours, she launched her humongous first album and won about a million awards for it in the process. Another album and a feature film later, she's fallen in love and moved to the UK. But she's dropped in back home to show off album number three, including the new single, In This Life. Welcome back in the studio, the delightful Delta Goodrum! Yeah. Is that a new saying? It's a new saying. <laughs> What's well, this whole girl next door to sex kitten thing that, that everyone's been talking about? Look at you all around all of a sudden. <laughs> I can say the same for you. Look at this studio. Look at everything. I leave you for five minutes and look what you do. You're leading on a wadding. Yeah. Home of neighbours. Wouldn't you? <laughs> that weird, weird in a little while. No, no. Well, that was it. Of course, we used to share the same studio for a while when you were on there. He's a and now we come say here, hi. and it's all groovy and funky now. It's very groovy. Look, Pete and Dara sitting over there hanging yeah, out. Yeah, I know. But you're, but you're all groovy and funky now. This, Thank you. Now, how are you feeling about the the title of Sex Kitten now? Because I'm funny. guessing it wasn't your idea. <laughs> You've just well, I gone. Didn't exactly. Put myself sex kitten next to. No. I don't think it was. I don't think I've changed that much. I think I kind of looked the same as I did when I was 17, just a bit older. I mean, maybe if you look at the last album, I had short, dark hair. Maybe that's the difference. Yeah. I thought the sex kitten thing. Nice. I thought, are oh, you coughing up furballs, clawing at the <laughs> furniture? You know, people come around, you get spooked, hide under the doona, that kind of thing. Fantastic. Whatever cats do. Right. Actually, I had my cat. I growing up, I had. We had a couple of cats at our house and. My cat got skin cancer and we had to chop off its front of its nose. Oh. And um, you could actually see the inside of it. Oh, and, uh, wow. and, 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 and oh, honestly, inside of the whole cat? You could actually see like the little lines and, and it was awful because, you know, you'd get... <laughs> and so, you, know, you couldn't smell properly so we couldn't leave him outside because he would get lost in the bush and we would never get to see him again. And he didn't like him any humans. He would... <laughs> What do you think? Well, normally if they get lost, they say, how do you get home? Just follow your nose. Yes. He's, what's he, what was he yeah, meant to do? He's, he's in heaven. Isn't that, an, isn't that an old old gag of the, my, you know, there's, my dog has no nose, how does it smell terrible? <laughs> I didn't use that one with the cat. But... <laughs> so, um, well, how are things going anyway with Brian? With he's Brian? great, I thank like you. I he's a nice guy. He is. You guys showed each other's toes last time. I know. We're classy that <laughs> You're way. Beautiful. It was and, beautiful. And you hung on to him. God love you for I that. I did. I did. He's beautiful. He's really good, thank you. Now, did he, he, I heard he worked on, on the album. Is that right? He did. We ended up writing a lot of the album together. It was actually, it was actually fantastic because we never intended to write a lot of the songs together. But, you know, it seemed, it seemed like the right thing. And it, I'd sort of been writing with a lot of different writers, really creative people around the world. And, and I just wasn't, I don't know, it just didn't feel magic yet. And just before Christmas time, I said, you know, why don't we, why don't we write together? And, and we were about to come to Australia, and it was just, we would go and write songs, go play poker at an Irish pub around the corner, and, you know, just have a really good time. We ended up writing some really magic songs, and I really respect his talent, so it's really fun. Did you really actually get work done, or were you totally passing each other? <laughs> <laughs> A bit of both. Yeah. <laughs> yeah if you, but if you're, if you're working with your partner, yeah. right, let's say he suggests something, and it's not a great idea, can you go, you know, honey, no, it's, that's, that's shit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you have to do it. Can you do I that, mean, though? We, Is we, it... we try not to. We yeah. try to say that was a good one, honey, and then go, no, don't okay. do that. <laughs> <laughs> what do <you laughs> now, I saw uh, footage of you uh, with someone else in the studio. Oh. Another man. <gasps> Tell me who Who's this? It? Bernie, the mascot is here today. Bernie! Say hello, oh. Bernie! <laughs> Who's that? Is this... That's Bernard the Buddha. Does That's he come with the studio? He does. He comes... Oh, look at him. Oh, he totally hit you in the mouth. Yeah. Is that OK? <laughs> Not necessarily. I, I had... I had... Um, I grew up with a dog. Bernard the Buddha. And we used to have... like If the dog would lick you in the face and got very close to your mouth, I had people who were just completely repulsed like that. I had no problem with it. Well, you can't... They, they, they just, for some reason, some dogs just try and get there and you're like, come on, stop it. But he's, he actually sits in the studio and we would... I would bring him in and... And Stuart, who'll be producing all the tracks as well, the um, Scottishman who's actually here tonight as well, um, in Sydney. And he ended up sort of, we would have to get Bernie to not eat all the wires or, you know, <laughs> I could see the dog, I could be in the studio singing away in this live, you know, and you'd sort of see Bernie, I'd be thinking, please don't chew the cords, please don't chew the cords. Or, you know, he was just, he was a really good master. So whose dog is he? 
He's a friend of mine. Oh, yeah. so he is your yeah, dog. Yeah, it's yeah. not like he comes with his. No, he's just, just kind of sitting there mixing dog. it with his little paws. <laughs> but through the album, it was, it was, it was, uh, um, you know, if he fell asleep, I thought the song wasn't very good, and he <laughs> yeah. stayed away. Always judge around what a dog thinks. <laughs> That's anyway. a good idea. Yeah. And we peed on it. That's a good <laughs> sign. Hey, Delta, do you want to try to win twenty bucks in twenty seconds? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> It's so good to see you. Don't be nervous. I'm always nervous. Well, now, okay. I, I might have a glass of water yeah, for Yeah, absolutely. This. Now, you just have to just be your wonderful self. Okay. Just think of whatever comes into your head. There could be trouble. There are no wrong answers here. Okay. Uh, but if I don't like what you say, I don't give you $20. But no pressure. What's with that? Well, because I, I can't play favourites here. Oh, after all these years. Okay, all right. Shh. <laughs> Start the clock. Who wouldn't you like to be stuck in a lift with? There's many people, but I probably shouldn't share that on national TV. <laughs> Do you get PMT? Of course. Have you ever mimed during a live performance? No. Do you hire a cleaner? Occasionally, because it looks like a bomb hit it. <laughs> when are you going to get your driver's licence? It's safer for society if I don't. <laughs> uh, who would you phone if you got arrested? Uh, Brian, but if he wasn't in there as well, I'd probably call Mum. <laughs> Is it true you appeared in a toy commercial with Beck Hewitt? Yes, it was our first commercial. Really? Yes, and we're about seven years old. What was the toy out of interest? It was um, little toys that you dip in the water and it, they turn a different colour. Like they're nappies, they turn a... <laughs> 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 they, um, they, they turn blue if they're a boy and, and it was a very long time ago, right? Wow, okay, that's cool, that's fine. Delta Goodrum, who would you turn gay for? Can I say three people? Oh, okay. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> because there's been a couple of people I've thought about this before I got to speak to you, right? <laughs> there's, there's Heidi Klum, because when she says in Project One Day, you know, your style is out, you know, more and more is in. Nice. And she's really cute. And then um, Rachel McAdams, because I think she's like the most beautiful oh, girl yes. in the world. Yes. And since I'm seeing the notebook. And Shakira, because she goes, you know, <laughs> all the Shakira moves. There you go, there's my three people I'd turn gay for. Wow, I wish I had <laughs> asked that first. <laughs> There's your $20. Thank you, Delta Goodrum. Wow. <laughs> the new single in this life is out now, and the new album Delta will be released October 20. There's the plug. Thank, Thank you very you. much, Delta. You can be sticking around for us. I'm always going to have Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. Oh, show's still to come. We'll be right back.